then the third approach is what by using system properties jdbc test jdbc driver test 3 yeah now in this case just call driver manager dot get drivers driver manager dot get drivers save this class import packages import java dot util dot star and we have to import sql package import java dot sql dot star okay import these two packages here then compile this java c space jdbc driver test 3 okay compile successfully now run this java space jdbc driver test 3 run this it is not showing any driver here right do one thing in between this java and driver pass this command hyphen d jdbc dot driver equal to pass your driver class name here sun dot jdbc dot odbc dot jdbc odbc driver give space here and run this could not find load ok the command is wrong check this command drivers we have to use pass drivers ok here what we should use hyphen okay now it's clear right yeah just the command what we have to pass hyphen djdbc dot drivers equal to your driver class name space whatever the class name currently you are running that class name you have to pass okay if you want to load rkill driver pass here rkill driver here rkill path you need to pass rkill dot jdbc dot rkill driver now which driver loaded into jvm rkill driver loaded into jvm so these are the three approaches to load driver into jvm by using class dot for name or else by using driver manager dot register driver or else by using system properties by giving command into command prompt which command it is the command is using runtime command the last one is using java space hyphen d jdbc dot drivers equal to driver class name your required driver class name space your application name application class so this is the command to load driver while before running your class ok these are the three approaches to load driver into JVM ok this one is the first step then once after loading driver into JVM we need to get the connection from database so the next approach is get connection from the database get connection from database so again to get connection also we thought three styles right so to get connection again we have three ways to load driver like how we have three ways to get connection also we have three ways how to get connection the first one is by using driver manager dot 
get connection here by giving url we can get the connection or else by using driver manager dot get connection by giving url username and password by passing these parameters or else you can use driver manager dot get connection by giving url and through properties you can pass your username password credentials here so by using properties by using properties or else by using static fields also you can get the connection okay these are the three ways to get connection from database how we can get connection once after loading driver into your jvm we can get the connection so we know how to load driver right we know how to load the driver then now we should know how to get the connection here okay so to get connection to get connection write a class public class connection test connection test write a main method public static void main string args yeah now how to load the driver here first we need to load the driver how to load class dot for name or else driver manager dot register driver or else by giving command okay first by using class dot for name if you want to use sun driver what we should pass here sun dot jdbc dot odbc dot jdbc odbc driver then we have to handle exception here right so this class dot for name will throws class not found exception so then keep here try catch or else you can report it you can write here throws exception okay generic exception if you call throws exception then you no need to handle any compile time exceptions in this code okay then after loading driver into jvm next thing what we should do we need to get the connection to get the connection what we have to use driver manager dot get connection what we have to give here url username passwords if you want to connect with arkil database strictly arkil will ask us to pass username and password so here we need to give url which kind of url we need to give here it depends on your type driver okay so here if you want to use type 1 driver using type 1 driver if you want to connect in case of type 1 driver using type 1 driver using type 1 driver if you want to get connection sun.jdbc.odbc.jdbc odbc driver is type 1 driver only right it's a odbc bridge driver right so in case of this jdbc odbc bridge driver what we have to pass here jdbc colon odbc colon data source name we have to pass here along with this if you want to connect with arkil database strictly username and password both if you ask if you try to connect with mysql then username and password you no need to pass okay then along with this you can pass here username system manager so in this driver manager dot get connection method finally will return what it will return as a connection object so then you can print that connection here system dot out dot print ln print your connection here okay yeah then i'll show you by using type 1 driver how to get the connection from database so here this one is what dsc is it's a data source 
we know right how to create data sources yeah just i'll go through application i'll show you there first how to create data source first you should know how to create this data source so to create data source you can write one by one steps first go to control panel first go to control panel you know right how to go to control panel go to start menu click on control panel in this control panel select administrative tools here we have an option administrative tools select administrative tools so select administrative tools here in this administrative tools select data source odbc here it is data source odbc there you can select data source odbc yeah double click on it you will get one window data source administrator window in this data source administrator window it will open data source administrator window in data source admin window click on add button click on this add button click on add button click on add button once after clicking on add button select your database type here we have multiple database microsoft access ibm db2 database okay we have arkil sql server currently i am using arkil database so arkil xc we have here finish select arkil xc select arkil xc once after selecting arkil xc pass your data source name my required data source name is durga soft underscore ds just my data source name you can keep any name here you can keep your name it will work okay durga soft underscore ds then description no description in this tns service pass your data base type it's a xc type if you are using arkil 11 version 11g version here you should pass orcl okay if it is a 10g version you should pass xc here it depends on your database type then user id means your username pass data source name pass data source name required name just i'm using durga soft underscore ds pass data source name and pass user id username pass tns service tns service name is xc then after passing all these click on test connection it will ask us to enter password enter your password here manager then click on ok connection is successful your odbc application now connected with your database your odbc application connected with your database but your application not connected with database okay just this odbc application this one is odbc application now this jd i mean this odbc application connected with whom arkil database now you need to do what you need to connect with this application we know right in case of type 1 driver what happens in case of type 1 driver what happens first your application will request odbc odbc will request database